And there is 75 cooking, so we can now do nothing really. Right, so here we are, just about to get a agility level. Such a, it's a bit of a milestone here, as you can see. Well, I think once we make this jump. No, what? What? Seven XP, are you kidding me? So we've got to cross this tightrope. God dang it. Come on, don't you dare fall. Hey, there we go. So now we have finally hit 70 agility. We can now use the shortcut in Tavoli Dungeon. That was the main reason I was getting this. Also, we can access the Saradomin area in God Wars, which is pretty awesome. Now I'm going to finish off this quick run. It's not going to take us too long. Now what I've decided to do is actually do a bit of skilling for today. I know I said I was going to do my Slayer, but I think what I want to do is try and get all my non-70 stats up to 70. So that includes stuff like Herblore, Thieving, uh, agility like we just got and a couple others like fishing all these a lot of these skills especially farming farming is going to take the longest because of how expensive it can be um, and also in the last episode I had basically no cash uh, that is now as you can see my cash check is 802k that is because I decided to sell my cannon uh, mainly because I wasn't really using it and it was get like I was using spending more money on cannonballs than I really like to so I decided to sell that uh, so we got a nice little cash pile but what I want to go do now is a quick farm run so we can get ourselves ever so slightly closer to that uh, 75 amount of farming. I know it's going to take us a very long time because we are such a low level. Uh, what I need to do is actually get some seeds, uh, tree seeds, because they're the best way to level up your farming. So what I might actually do is see how much all the trees that I can plant are costing at the moment. So like maple trees and where are the fruit trees maple and curry trees so i might see if i can grow a couple of them just to try and get our level up a little bit quicker all right so quickly before i go do my farm run and a few other little bits i'm going to buy the last piece of graceful which is the boots so if we could buy that there we go we finally have completed full graceful it's taken us so long uh but now we have the minus 15 kilograms mainly because i've got my all this stuff on me but there's a reason for that i am going to complete the achievement diary i'm actually going to buy two packets of these as well because we're going to probably need these in the future and i think these are worth quite a bit as well yeah almost a k each so there's 200k there just from doing agility which is pretty awesome so we could either sell these and make some bank or we could use them on um potions in the future but for now i'm going to use them for potions but yeah like i said i'm going to quickly go do this quick little task and then hopefully see you very soon. And there we have completed all the medium tasks in Lumbridge and Draenor. So I'm going to head back to Lumbridge quickly and grab ourselves the Explorer's Ring 2. Right, and here we are just about to grab the second Explorer's Ring. And there we go. Awesome. So we can now actually teleport to the carriage patch in Falador, which is going to make our farm runs a lot quicker. And I'm going to chuck this on farming. What else? 7.5k and that got us the level awesome so we can now do jungle was well, that jenga berry bushes pretty cool but yeah i'm gonna go do a quick farm run now i've got the explorer's ring and i'll see you once that is done well apparently we just managed to get 79 fletching just doing a bit of winter todd to get some more maple seeds because i know this is quite an easy way to get them uh but yeah nice little level one more level to 80 then we'll have two level 80 stats which would be pretty nice but unfortunately it's going to take us quite a while i think i've got like four thousand of these uh kindlings to make if i wanted to make get to um the uh 80 fletching so yeah i'm just going to be doing a lot of fire making for a little bit just until maybe we get to a level or just about 10 Maple seeds, that's probably my main goal at the moment. Just enough seeds to do a bit, a few more farming runs. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly check my miscellanea. I think what I'm going to do is actually change it to collect flax instead of herbs for now. Because I really want to get some a ton of flax so we can start doing more fletching. As you can see, I'm level eight, uh, almost level 80 at the moment. So I'm probably going to do a lot of woodcutting in the near future. So let's just collect our resources quickly for now. Wow, I literally just changed that and I've already got 600. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to leave it on there for now and then come back in a couple of days time. I'm going to quickly deposit like 400k or something. 
Let's do 420k. 420k. There you go. So back up to 500k, which is pretty decent. And yeah, hopefully in a couple of days' time, that will be quite a nice amount of stock because I literally just changed that and you saw how many herbs I had. So hopefully we're going to have a lot. Let me just quickly run to the bank and see what I've actually got. Now, I was going to spin these manually, but I thought if I get to 76 uh, magic, I should be able to use the uh, flax spin mag uh, lunar spell, uh, which will cost a few uh, nature runes, but hopefully not too much. Let me just have a look. Yeah, 700 flax there, which is pretty good. So we can make all these maple longbows and u bows uh, once we've spun all these. I might, for now, I'm probably going to do it in a manual way, but until we get the magic level, I will. Do, uh, yeah, until we get the magic level, I'm going to do it manually. And until I decide that I'm going to go up and get my magic up. I've been doing a lot of barrels runs, so we are using up a lot of fire runes and stuff. So yeah, I might actually try and get myself a Tome of Fire, just to make my barrels runs a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time spinning this flax and getting my magic level up so we can actually do it, make this more efficient. Hey, that actually worked. But yeah, as you can see, I just decided to put a lunar isle, lunar isle teleport into my house to make getting to lunars so much simpler. There we go. We are right next to the bank. Saves having to use the car to ship to get here. Um, so if I ever wanted to change my spell book, I could literally just teleport to my house, run down here, and I'll be sorted. So I'm going to quickly jump onto the lunar spell book. I'm going to try and get that 76 magic, like I just said, by doing pie bake. Um, I know I could save a lot of money by getting either a Tome of Fire or trying to buy a um, the Steam Battle stuff, but I think I'm just going to use up some of my fire runes because they're quite simple to make, and there we go. So we could now do pie bake quite a few times actually because we've got enough probably we could probably use up all of these astral runes but i will come to this altar and make some more in the near future but for now we are going to head over to the grand exchange and buy some pies hopefully we have enough money for them and hopefully they're not too expensive so I'll just jump into the varrock one here it teleports me straight to the grand exchange which is pretty awesome all right let's just type in raw pie oh Add more pie. Uh, we're all wild pie. Uh, I'm not too sure which one to do. It depends which one nets me a pot profit. All right, meat pie. I might have to make them myself. That might be a better idea. Uncooked meat pie. 900 each. Let's do 300. Do you know what? I'm going to work out the profits and losses and hopefully see you guys in just a sec. Right, so after sitting here for a very long time, we are about to cast our final uh, humidifier spell to unlock 75 magic. There we go. We now have 75 magic. We can now use... Teleport to Barbarian Outpost and use spa, Stat Spy. Okay. And apparently that is all. But if we check on here, if we go down to a equipment, nope. Weapons, that's the one. If we scroll all the way down. We now have maximum requirements. We can now wield Trident of the Sea, the Kodai Wand, and also Sayer Staff E, which is what we have in the bank. So I'm going to quickly grab that. Um, I haven't actually checked up on the stats. Let me just bank all my vials quickly. Let's just get this out. There we go. Doesn't actually look that great. So, yeah, that was quite nice. I think what I'm going to do, take a break from uh, magic. As you can see, I've used burnt through quite a lot of my, uh, quite a few of my ruins here. So, hopefully, that was all worth it. But I've just messed up my bank. God dang it. Right, let me just fix my bank and then I'll be back with you. Okay, there we go, sorted it. I only had to move, swap these two around. But as you can see, we have 214 um, astral runes left. I think what I'm actually going to go do is I'm actually going to go do some rune crafting because I haven't done it in such a long time. And as we're on Lunar Rhino, I might as well try and get myself some more astral runes. I do ideally need some more cosmic runes at the moment, but I think we can save them for later. Uh, the mind runes and chaos runes are fine because we get them from our Barrows trips. And wow, that's 200k worth of chaos runes right there. I think the main reason for that is people are using them in 
oh, what's it? They were using it in the gem store in the lava city to get themselves an Uncut Onyx, which is pretty a good idea. But no, we're going to save them up. I don't have enough to do that, so we cannot do that, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm going to do a bit of rune crafting. I think we need these three pouches here. I'm going to place them. To be honest, I don't really need to move them because they added the update where you could just shift click on them. So if we do that instead, do that, do it that way, and grab ourselves out some. I'm going to grab ourselves all of our astrals and all the law runes because that's what we need to teleport out, unfortunately. So now we can use the Moon Clan teleport, which is good. But yeah, I'm going to go do some astral rune running and hopefully I'll see you guys with. I'm going to go for about 60 rune crafting, that's my goal. So yeah, see you then. Huh. Right, and there's 71 Slayer, one more level to go, and then we can kill Skillers of Wyverns. Missed the level, but... Right. Missed the level, but there is 76 attack. And though it's not really great to be showing these levels, but I'm just showing off the fact that I'm getting my combat stack up really nicely. Unfortunately, we haven't received any good drops on these guys just yet, and you're attacking the wrong one, dude. But yeah, we haven't received any drops from these just yet. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we are able to get some um, shards or whatever, whatever they're called. The crystal things you get, which can turn the dark light into a arc light. Because I really want to get that, because that's going to make demons lane so much quicker. But yeah, there is our attack level. Hopefully, we get a shard pretty soon. But we'll just hopefully, I just have to wait and see. And here we are with our first ancient shard. Two more, and then we can make ourselves an arc light, which is going to be absolutely amazing. But yeah, first ancient shard of the game, of the uh, account. Hopefully, we can get two more pretty soon. And there's a clue scroll drop, which is pretty amazing. So we're probably going to go do that in just a second. As you can see, we've already got 42 demons left, which is nice. And I'd like to quickly apologise. I just realised, but in the last three clips, I have had my fan going, and I do apologise for that. It's goddamn hot in my in my room. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and block it out as much as I can using Audacity. But if I can't block it out, I do apologise. Hopefully it hasn't ruined the video too much. But yeah, I'm going to go do this clue scroll. Hopefully we can get something nice like Third Age or Ranger Boots. If I do get Third Age, I'll probably end up selling it. Because uh, obviously it's a lot of money and I can use that for skills such as like farming and construction and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to kill a couple more demons and then go do this hard clue scroll <clears throat> almost finished our slayer task here and we finally got our second ancient shard as you can see so one more to go and then we can make ourselves an arc light i'm hoping i can get it in these 20 kills if not i'm going to be super upset but yeah number two is on the go i still need to go complete the clue scroll i'm going to finish off this trip of 20 kills and then hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves a nice reward and the last ancient shard but until then I'll see you guys in a minute and there is our 20th Slayer task in a row. We've got the Uncut Ruby as a drop and 60 points towards Slayer. Uh, uh, Slayer points. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go grab another task once I've completed this clue scroll. Alright, so I decided to give in and buy the rest of my mysterious emblems. So we're just going to trade them in. Hopefully we can get enough points. Let's have a look. Wait, there we go. So we can now buy the Ruin Pouch. Awesome gonna make things a lot easier <laughs> that would help and there is fairy power and there is fairy tale part two cure green complete we get 3k herb look and we get 3k herb look xp 2.5k experience and i think we can now use the fairy rings without the use of a lunar or drainer staff which is pretty nice but yeah also managed to get the second next part of my clue scroll this is why i had to complete this quest to be able to do it so unfortunately took a bit of time just to complete that step of the clue. So we are now on step number four, which is uh, yawn in the rogue's den with a uh, rogue's general store. Uh, Edamons, gray shield, blue vamps, and ruin pickaxe. I believe we have all those items, so I'll see you guys once I've completed this clue. And just before I forget, we better use this XP lamp. I think I'm going to use it on smithing because I want to start getting my mining and smithing up. As you know, change my mind let's get it on farming because i want to get that 50 farming 2.5k xp we're now 6k away from a farming level and here we are with the casket we had to do our final <laughs> i can't talk 
here we are with the casket. Our final, t uh, our final step was in the wilderness, so hopefully that would have been worth it. Ooh, another Zami page. Zami page four. Ooh, I think we've got which page have we got so far? <clears throat> oh, we got a Zami page two. So that's our second Zami page, which is awesome. We are so close to being able to make the Zami book. We just need two more pages, and apparently this page has doubled in price. Holy cow! But yeah, that's not a bad reward. A few alcohols, another heretic shield. Which I'm probably not going to end up using because now we have two of them. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad reward. I'm just going to drop the green firelighters on the floor because they're useless to me. And they're not even worth anything. So we might as well drop them. But yeah, that's not a bad reward. Alright, so we're going to head back to Neve and get another Slayer task. Hopefully we can get something good. Cow fight, not too bad. But I don't have a cannon at the moment. So it's kind of a slow task. I might just cancel that for now. Alright, let's try again. Steel dragons. Ooh, we can get some dragon plate legs. Or, or even a visage. Let's do it. Let's go do some steel dragons. Kill number two, and we get a hard clue scroll, which is pretty amazing. Going to see if we can do that once this task is finished. But yeah, nice little reward from killing these steel dragons. It's quite an easy uh, task to do, to be fair, because I could just safe spot them, and they don't. They very rarely hit me, unless obviously my anti fire runs out. But thankfully to OS buddy, we don't have to worry about that. I just need to turn it back on. Whoops. And there is our first unique drop, the Dragon Spear. As you can see, it's only worth 40k, so it's not that great of a drop, but it is a drop nonetheless. First time actually getting a Dragon Spear on this account, which is pretty awesome. And here's the reward casket. Oh, Saradom and Coif, not bad. That's actually pretty nice. That's the first, first unique. That's the first one of them I've got now. That's pretty awesome. Only 60k, 70k though. Not too bad. Right, so I am still currently doing my Steel Dragons task. This task is taking so long. But I thought to myself, how can I make it so I can save myself a bit of money uh, and still use my magic? I am going to buy myself a Trident. But at the moment, I only have 400k. And at the moment, Tridents are about a mil, especially for the full ones. Um... And I don't really have any death rooms to fill one up. So, I'm going to actually sell off my whip. As you can see, it's 1.7 mil still. Uh, we're going to sell that at minimum price. Bye-bye whip. I did buy that originally, so it's not too bad. So, let's just buy ourselves a trident now. Would help if I could spell it. Trident of the seas. There we go. It's only 1 mil at the moment, which isn't too bad. So, we should be alright. There we go. So, we now have a trident of the sea. If we quickly put that on, there we go. Nice little, oh, can't even see because the wall's in the way. God dang it, let's walk this way. There we go. So we now have the Trident of the Seas and a bit of cash left over. Now, obviously, I would have liked not to be able to not have to buy that, but it's going to make our tasks a lot simpler. So, what I'm going to do is hopefully be able to. I could buy myself a whip, I could buy my whip back, but well, maybe if I had another 500k on there. But what I'm going to do is save that money until we can afford to buy ourselves a whip or wait until I get an Abyss Abyssal Demon Slayer task and you try and get a whip that way that would probably be the better option but yeah also as you can see in our ruin patch we've got the alcohol runes and I used a ton of fire runes during that task because I was using the fire wave spell and it was wasting so much money so I thought it would be best to actually buy ourselves the trident of the seas <coughs> excuse me and hopefully be able to get a nice amount of kills with that. I do actually want to imbue our Slayer Helmet as well. Um, as you can see, 38 left. But that will take a while to do because I need to do... I, need, I think I need, like, what? 1.2 2 million X points in Nightmare Zone. And I don't have the prayer, points, prayer pots to sit in there for ages. So I'm going to do that later on. But for now, we're going to go back to our Slayer House. Now we have bought the Trident of the Seas. Hopefully, we, hopefully it doesn't die out too quickly and we can get this task over and done with. But yeah. I'll see you guys once the task is complete. And there it is, our final Ancient Shard. We can now go and make ourselves the Arc Light, which is absolutely amazing. And for some reason, these worlds keep lagging out on me. But yeah, we can now make ourselves an uh, the Arc Light, which I'm going to go, go do very quickly uh, in a moment. As you can see, we've still got tons of kills on these, uh, on these dragons left. And I've, and I've almost used 
I've used over 500 charges already on my trident. So I think I'm actually going to skip the rest of this task for now because it is taking way too long. But yeah, I'm going to go grab myself my dark light and then I'll meet you guys back at the altar in the middle of the catacombs. Okay, so here we go. We are here at the middle altar in the Great Karend. And we're going to use the shards on the altar and combine the free shard with our dark light, of course. And there we go. We now have ourselves an arc light. It only has a thousand charges at the moment. We do need to get a few more gems just to be able to fill it up. But that is pretty amazing. We now have ourselves the arc light. Probably one of the best weapons to kill demons in the game. You know, I almost just died. Bloody hell. What did you do? Oh, nice. <laughs> Doing barrows and actually got a drop. Fucking hell. Why would you? Just over killing some Toroths and get another leaf bladed sword that is now my third leaf bladed sword on the account i still need to sell the other one i got from this task before but yeah there's our second leaf bladed sword dropped from taurus you've got to be kidding me right i've literally just come back from that last trip and got another leaf bladed sword look literally not that far apart from each other two leaf bladed swords from this one trip well making a bit of money from this trip apparently and legitly the kill after the leaf bladed sword we get a hard clue scroll which is pretty amazing can we do it yes we can so i think what i'm going to do going to go do is knock out, knock out this clue scroll quickly and then come back to the task <clears throat> right so here's the casket <clears throat> just some alcables literally just alcables nice <clears throat> just managed to miss the level but it's 77 strength didn't get a combat level unfortunately but our combat stats are really getting up there now. Hopefully soon we'll be 80 in all combat stats. And that'll be quite nice. 